In this video, we'll look at how to create interactive PDF forms in Adobe Acrobat. PDF forms are documents containing interactive fields where text can be entered or checkboxes can be selected. You can create them using any PDF, word processor, image file, or scanned paper document. They're used to collect or distribute various government and business documents. PDF fields are interactive elements where users can either type text or make a selection. Common basic field types include text fields, checkbox fields, radio buttons, lists of choices, drop down lists, push buttons, as well as image fields, signature fields, and barcode fields. Fill forms manually using Adobe Acrobat Reader, Adobe Acrobat, or any compatible PDF viewer, or fill them automatically using a mail merge tool such as the Auto Mail Merge plugin for Adobe Acrobat. To open the form editor, open the PDF document in Adobe Acrobat, select Tools on the main toolbar, and find Prepare Form. Double click on the Prepare Form icon. If prompted to select a file or scan a paper document, Click Start to use the currently open document. To add a text field, click the Add Text Field icon on the Form Editor toolbar. Then move the cursor to where you want to place the field. Enter a field name. By default, all new fields are named Text1, Text2 and so on. Then click All Properties. Edit the name of the text field in the entry box. Select the Appearance tab to change the text font or colour. The font size and font menus edit the text's appearance. Use Auto Text Size to increase and decrease the size of the text to fit inside the field box. Observe these examples showing different lengths of text fitting inside the same size text field. When it comes to selecting fonts, it's important to note that the file size is greatly affected by selecting certain ones. Use a basic font to avoid a large increase. These are listed at the top of the list, such as Curia, Helvetica and Times Roman. If a field needs multiple lines of text, select the Options tab and select Multi-Line. Check the field will show all lines of text by entering a default value or typing text into the field itself. New fields will appear in the fields list on the right hand side. Now let's take a closer look at checkboxes and export value. Checkboxes present yes or no choices for individual items. If a PDF form contains multiple checkboxes, the user can simply select as many as necessary. To add one to a PDF form, click the Add Checkbox icon on the toolbar, then move the cursor to place the checkbox field. Give the checkbox field a name. Use the same name for both form and data fields in the data source to simplify field mapping when carrying out a mail merge. Now click All Properties. Select the Options tab and select a checkbox style. The default export value for new checkboxes is Yes. This text will be used when the checkbox is selected. Change it if necessary. Match this value accordingly in the data source. The export value is a property that determines if a checkbox is to be displayed as checked or unchecked. It's assigned when the field is placed on the form and can contain any text as desired. If a checkbox's value matches its export value, the checkbox appears as checked. Checking a checkbox fills it with a value in the same way as a text form field. The export value of yes is used as default. However, it can be anything, such as male or female. It should be based on how filled forms are processed. The checkbox's value should match the way the relevant values are listed in the data source used. Observe this sample Excel spreadsheet, displaying yes values for specific data fields. Each form will have checkbox 1 marked as yes or no depending on what's specified in Excel. Click Save File to save changes to the PDF. Now let's have a brief look at how to organise form fields. Multiple fields can be moved at once by highlighting them, then clicking and dragging them. Multiple fields can also be selected by clicking on them and holding the Shift key. Quickly match their size and align multiple fields by right-clicking, then click Align, Distribute or Center. These options can also be found on the right-hand side. 
Observe how using these tools neatly arranges the text fields. Now let's look at how to save PDF forms. If it's necessary to allow Acrobat Reader users to populate and save the form, it must be saved as Reader Extended PDF. Once saved in this way, it can no longer be modified. This should be the final step after the form is designed. To do it, click File, then Save as Other, then Reader Extended PDF, then Enable More Tools. Follow the dialog to save the file. Exit the form editor or some menu items will be inaccessible. Test new fields by entering text into them. Ensure that a field is big enough to show all characters in the selected font. The checkbox will now engage with the user's actions. Repeat these procedures for each field that you need to add. Visit evermap.com for further product resources.